my name is Anne Marie Alt and I'm actually employed by PSS to be the project coordinator for a health and wellbeing project based at Toxic Library. Uh, well, it actually covers everything. It's about dealing with people which live within a two mile radius of Toxic Library. So that incorporates all of Riverside Ward and all of the Princess Park Ward. The type of activities that we offer are demand led by our volunteers. So for example, the walk I mentioned before was one activity we offer. And then the kind of the timetable on the Monday flows creates a brighten which came demand led, which leads to the walk, which then leads to the garden. Tuesday we normally have a coffee afternoon and then we do our independent taster sessions so that can be from a whole range of Liverpool Adult Learning's timetable. Wednesday we currently have Liverpool Football Club here. They've been coming for eight weeks and that is a dedicated course for men's health which follows straight on to our own health sessions and we've been running these health sessions now for about five and a half months and the group expands shrinks, expands, shrinks. We never have less than five people and we can have up to 20 people. And that is demand led, so if a, a large proportion of the volunteers have got diabetes, arthritis, um, blood pressure, obesity, they're the type of specialists we bring in. And then of a Thursday, we've currently got the near dance sessions, which were brought in because this lady is really trying to promote her fitness sessions across the city because nobody else is doing it. It's a really innovative opportunity for people to, uh, regardless of what your physical activity level is at the moment. Friday is amazing. Friday, doors open. We have um, literally the cooking, healthy cooking going on downstairs. Across the way we have the IT for the terabytes. And have an afternoon we have one of the single activities that brings joy to people, male and female, is hula hooping because the hula hooping is, it, it reminds you of when you were a child, because most people have done hula hooping, but this hula hooping isn't what you done when you were a child. It's actually a waisted hoop, and they're very big, much bigger than the size of your body, so they're big enough for everybody to use, men as well. It's not always in Toxic Library. I would say 95% of our activities are in the library, but we have had occasions in the summer where we've had to move a popular activity to another venue. So we've moved um, some of our Zumba classes in the past out to the Pakistani Centre, which is one of our partner agencies, and also the Toxic Women's Centre, because it's much cooler for the ladies and the gentlemen to have a little work out there. One of the groups which I particularly can see the passion in people is the Creative Writing Group. Uh, we've been so lucky because that has lasted almost 30 weeks now, which is unbelievable. It's just been a continual 10 weeks, 10 weeks, 10 weeks. We have lots of men. At the beginning of the project, we didn't have so many men. Now, we, we, we're almost having more men than women. The cooking has been amazing because a lot of people live by themselves and may not in the past have cooked a meal for themselves. A, because they think, what's the point? It's just for me. I'll have a snack from the chippy or I'll go to the pizza place. And now they're thinking, I'm going to make that meal, but I'm going to split it into four ways. So when I feel like spaghetti bolognese again, made of corn, I can just pop it out the freezer, defrost it, and I've got a meal, and a healthy meal. It's lovely for me to see that people who perhaps wouldn't have even asked that question are not only asking the question, they're going on the course, completing the course, got portfolios, they've got cooking certificates, food hygiene certificates, they've got IT certificates, creative writing certificates, they've got certificates for everything and you know a lot of these people are anything from 30 to 70 and if you have not had a great academic achievement record now might be your time to learn. There's so many uh, proudest moments, but success stories definitely. We had um, a lovely Spanish couple who were young and in love, and they came to Liverpool to try to get health jobs because of the economy in Spain. They loved Liverpool, absolutely lovely. Found out about this project and started uh, volunteering on a regular basis, and um, their English was improving. They were very, very helpful about health issues because that was their field. 
and um, just as the time was wearing on, the confidence had grew so much, they were absolutely applying for everything, every opportunity and they came to see us with a big box of chocolates to tell us um, they were successful and she's actually working in Surrey, they've both moved down south and she's got a nanny in position um, with a view to getting a job quite soon after in the health field. Some people who just started coming for a walk have really got no time to do anything else now because they have five days a week because the creativity aspects went on to doing um, an actual healthy dance class which is for strengthening of all your core bones in your body and increasing your flexibility. Um, no sister as well, there's a lot of uh, people who are more willing to listen and understand what is being said because it's very, very difficult for people with English as the second language to catch what people are saying if they speak very, very quickly. But equally, for people who do speak quickly, it's a conscious effort for them to slow down so that people can understand what they're saying too. In my dream, personally, would be to roll out across the city. Um, libraries have lent themselves very, very well for people to come inside, to feel welcome, to, to know that there's opportunities available for them. Because it's about health, and most people are trying to help, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, so you try and you try and improve your health and it's really good. It's very beneficial to people if they come come around. Because like, we, last there are things for um, for women, for men, private issues, about the private health, cancer, there's just so many topics going on every single week. So it's just it's just a place to be. I think it, yeah, it is really good for confidence building because people that do come obviously don't work full time. I mean, I'm retired myself and so is Edward. But the people who haven't got a job um, get depressed and bored inside. So if they know that their libraries or doing some activity, it does encourage them to come out if weather permits. So yeah, the more activities going on for the outside uh, world, Obviously, uh, more people. Awful, awful. Quite, yeah, quite sad, I would think. Yeah, people didn't have anything to do. Well, they become more depressed uh, straight away if there wasn't these activities on. I do like coming to the walks. I mean, because it is quite educational as well as enjoyable. And it gets, you get to meet different people of all different religions and uh, different sexes and all that. I come on the walks. I got other friends that know me. I go out any other time. I got to work with them. Did you enjoy doing the exercises, Michael? Yeah. Wait, which one was your favourite? Good. They were all good. Yeah. Brilliant.